here. Someone said that they thought that I used to look leaner. I am big. I'm I'm large and in charge. When from where? They were watching your Daniel Branding compilation. Someone wrote, "Oh, when Souza was young and Savon was leaner." I was like, "Damn." Did it have something to do with your beard? I was fasting one uh, for like I don't know 40 hours every once a week. Souza had huge hair too. What did like, Susan had like 80s hair? Yeah. What did what did what did one saggy boob say to the other saggy boob? What's saying? Race you to the bottom. Good. Uh, we better get uh, some support, or people are going to start calling us nuts. I think I think ours were better. <laughs> <laughs> Mason Mitchell back when Sevy swam in t-shirts. I know this shit is like. Look at you, you yoked now. 170. 170. I don't know if I'm really one. Yeah, I'm probably 170. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Brandon's movie was released today. It was a rad production. Who? Who's the director? Someone Green? I thought I, Scott Green? Derek Green. Directed by Scott Green. Anthony Green. Anthony Green. Tony Green. That I can't say for sure, but I know it says in the credits. Do we know who the editor is? No, but that's also in there. Caleb, you, you look like you're on it. You yeah. guys, there's this um, there's this genre of cinema. Oh, this is good. Cinema verite. Uh, cinema verite is a style of documentary filmmaking developed by Ed. Oh, Anthony, Anthony Green. I was Anthony. right. No, oh, and Tony. No. And Tony. Tony Green. No, and Tony. Oh, Anthony. that was produced. Antony. Produced by... An the producer is the person who um, organizes everything and then gets secures the money. So they do everything from bring you water to fire the director. The director is the guy who, like, the work falls on him. Who's the editor? Oh, and and that's where the real... That's the real money. That's the owner of Rad. That guy, Ben. Ben Massey. Yep. That's what Sousa does. He's so nice. Editor, Matthew Laws with War. We Never heard, heard, of it. Have you heard of it. No, but at some point we should pull up his Instagram. No. What if that what if he took his wife's name? <laughs> when I when I see that hyphen, that's what I think. He could have. I, um, I literally say I'm not a big fan of the hyphen. Uh cinema I don't like hyphens either. So, or underscore, but the guy fucking killed it. Uh Cinema Verite, a style of documentary filmmaking developed by Edgar Morin and Jean Rouche inspired geez, what I just what is meant by cinema verite? A style of observational documentary style filmmaking that feels real, that follows impromptu rather than scripted action. So what you saw was not cinema verite. Cinema verite is like really it's it's more it's more like really old school PBS style. This was the um complete opposite of that it was interesting before the movie came out we were like hey is this going to be a documentary is it going to be propaganda or is it going to be a rad commercial it definitely wasn't a rad commercial no uh, not at all Z zero zero there was one point where i thought it was going there but then it didn't and it's not eligible for an academy award Although it's good enough to be uh, because uh, those have DEI requirements. Like you have to have a certain number of gay people and people in wheelchairs, people with melanated skin. And I don't think it reached those quotas. Is that true? That is true. I don't know if it's true for the documentary category. But if you knew that, that's why when you saw Roadhouse, you'd be like. You didn't like Roadhouse. I did. I, I no, it's a shit. I like, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm an hour and 40 through it. It's a complete garbage film. I'd give it a D. So you watched the whole movie. You said, but right, I enjoy. Right. But I enjoy. Why is it bad? But I enjoyed it. I, I'm. I'm not ever suspending my disbelief. I'm never like getting lost in the movie. I'm never like like the Daniel Brandon movie. I was lost in it. I, I cried like three. Well, I don't know if I cried three times in the Daniel Brandon movie. My tear ducts turned on three so times. If you had one movie to watch for the rest of your life, and you would yeah. choose between this and Roadhouse. You choose the Daniel <laughs> Brandon documentary, the new Roadhouse. You have two options. Desert Island, one movie. Do I want to cry myself to sleep every day? Or I don't know. I, I really, dude, the beginning of uh, Danielle's documentary is amazing. 
someone's like, hey, I don't see what that had to do with the movie. I was like, I don't give a fuck what it had to do with it. When she's like standing over the trunk like that with her arms all wide and shit. It reminded me of oh, Megan Fox oh. and Transformers. And her that fucking titties. That had to have been the point. She's Absolutely. like, you could, see, you could see her titties and like her whole body and she's tan and she's over the trunk. I'm like, damn, this is a bad bitch. That had to have been the point. Um, well, can we start you a poll? Megan Fox scene seven. Have you seen Transformers? Do you know that? No, I don't know that scene. I, I know, I know, I know, know, I know Meg. I know of Megan Fox. She dates the guy that um, um, Sean Strickland talks shit to. That is Caleb and Myers. Oh, and he's the he's the rapper who did Rap Devil, which is a great song. Ripping Eminem, even though I like Eminem, he fucks Eminem up. Check this out, dude. This is when everyone, mine and Caleb Jage, knew that we were straight. Hell yeah! My God. This is how I would have answered that question on the Glitten podcast. How'd you know you were straight? It's like, well, I saw Transformers and Megan Fox open up the hood of this car. That's right. My mom regrets taking me to this movie because of this scene. She's Shut like, up. I, I swear to God, she told me this. I was like, this, she goes, I should have kept you immature for longer, whatever it's moms say. But how, she said, How old were you, though? I mean, we weren't that young. I don't know. I was still living with my mom. I know that. I thought it was a Thelma and Louise reference. I never saw that movie either. I just just I just know that's a car movie with Brad Pitt. This is neat, this so much better. Yeah, that first Transformers movie is really good. The first one is good. The rest of them, it's a downhill. It's a race to the bottom from there. Right, they're trash, garbage. The first one's amazing though. It's like the, the Avengers the movies. Game. The ones that don't aren't about a Wolverine or garbage. Oh, the in, in the Avengers I, movies. And the Iron Man was good too. <laughs> yeah, my God, Maron, as they say in the in the Italian hood. You think she's seen Transformers, Caleb? You I would. She knows what they're up to there because it has to be this. Has to be right. Yeah. Hey, in the interview, I wish they would address her more like this than like Ronald McDonald. Too much makeup. Yeah, I just didn't. Oh. I, I, it was interesting. The the movie I, I would give that documentary a, a, a ten. Me personally, um, and I felt like the trailer that I saw. Um, maybe that maybe that was maybe I don't understand marketing again, but the trailer made me think it was going to be a three. I wanted the trailer to be longer. Was there supposed to be some sort of contrast because she they they presented her in the least vulnerable way possible? Like she was the most made up, and yet she was given it, man, in the interview. You know what I think it might be, dude? It's uh, every time we see her, she's in athletic attire. She's at the CrossFit Games, and she's probably not wearing very much of any makeup. Right. I the first time I ever saw I, – I knew this chick at the gym forever. She was a teammate of mine, and she's, she's an attractive girl. And then one day she put on jeans and put on makeup – and she looked completely different. It kind of threw me for a loop. And I think that may have just been what happened with Danielle. It's like, whoa, what's going on here? It's, it's just not what we're used to seeing. And we've seen so much of Daniel Brandon with one look. Hey, you're trying to be a girl. What's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Check for out. sure, for sure. I think that might be a little bit of yeah. the sensation happening there. Maybe. Uh, uh, E-S-C-E-E-S-C -E 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 sounds... What a cool person Daniel Brandon is. The documentary was incredible. The documentary was incredible. If you didn't know her, it was it was it was a I think it was an eleven. If you knew her, maybe it was a ten. Ten out of ten. If you didn't know her, I'd say it's eleven out of ten. There was there was um yeah they, I, there were there were some things that I feel like there were there have been a few more um, there's been a little more carnage in her life that we didn't get to see. Like in the more recent year, we didn't get to see the the havoc in her more in her more recent days. Like when the movie ended, did we know who she's training with now? No, they didn't no, say anything about right the where what two, the current training camp and the previous training camp. Well, do we know when it was done shooting? To be fair, because like, what if it was done shooting and she was hanging out with Dallin still? Yeah, when did Dave say that they came down to the ranch? Um, uh, by the way, feel free to call in anyone. Uh, she looked amazing, which shows she can pull off both the hot chick and classy. Not everyone can pull that up. You think that that, that look, uh, you think that look, the interview look was classy? It was like, it was very pinup girly. It was, I, I, I wasn't a fan personally, but I, I don't think I'm the best judge of character there. I thought it was I, cute. 
I thought she was going to get out of one of those car, little tiny cars where 20 clowns get out of it. So I wouldn't say that, but there is something going on. I can't point my finger on it. <laughs> anyway, the movie is absolutely remarkable. Uh, there is a great cast of characters in it. Her friends are an amazing supporting cast. Uh, Danielle tells the story of her childhood. Uh, and basically, I, I think twice when she was at home, uh, she was taken from her mom on two occasions, uh, both times, because I think her mom went to the uh, state pen. Um, you saw the places that she went to were tough. The first time that I almost started crying was when she talked about her brother being separated from her. And I just imagined my boys being separated. And oh, I was whoa. just like, that's oh. why it got you. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I really like her brother in the movie. Isn't he cool? Yeah. What I a sweet man. At one point. I was like, dude, I like this guy. Do we know yeah, I didn't. Him I didn't like. I didn't like the chair. I didn't like her outfit. I didn't like her makeup. But you know what? The crazy part is, is as, as strong as opinions as I had about it, I, um, I forgot about it within three minutes. I didn't think about. I thought about it when the movie started, and then I never thought about it again until the movie was over. And that's and that's how great the movie was. So you can never give every, anything a ten. You, you can't do that. Because once you give one thing a 10, everything other than that movie is worse. Can we start a poll? What's better, Roadhouse or what's this movie called? DBE. <laughs> Dan Daniel Brandon Energy. And and, the, and did we find, are, are we pretty certain about the, the, the source, the origins of DBE, Daniel Brandon Energy? I have a, I have a feeling. <clears throat> you do. Are you going to release this? that soon? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I can do, we can do it now. Okay. Daniel Brandon puts up the post and they go over in the film a little bit where she's giving the middle fingers, right? Mm -hmm. And she puts up this post, it gets 60,000 likes. And in there, there's a comment thread with like 20 responses in it where they're talking about big dick energy. Right. She's got big dick energy and everyone's heard of that. And yes. what is that acronym where you switch around the letters for big dick energy is DBE, Daniel Brandon energy. Right. And Alexis wrote dbe hashtag dbe just in that comment thread and if you go behind if you go to the history of all those things you'll never see it being used and then three posts after that danielle puts up a daniel brandon energy post so alexis being the conspiracy theorist that she is thinks that she came up with the name historian historian not not conspiracy theorist historian i can't disprove her Right. He's, I went through every post. I'm like, I can't see Daniel Brandon energy anywhere. And I also went through the 800 comments and I don't see it anywhere else. What a cool thing. Alexis Kowalski. She's a nut job, dude. She's gave, great. Gave uh, DBE the Daniel Brandon energy. I, I can't prove her wrong. Uh, uh, oh, look it. Look it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Both two recent movies, too, so we don't have a, a bias based on uh, when they've watched it. They've all been watched in the last week, right? <laughs> this is an amazing poll. Hey, I say Roadhouse. You think Roadhouse was better? The the second More time, action. the second time I I um I teared up felt the tear ducts turn on is when her mom said that um, in the last five years when shit gets rough, Danielle calls her. Oh, I didn't hear that part. I didn't either. That's why I was making the face. That, that was like, that was like my, my, my favorite part of the doc was uh, learning about the relationship of her and her mom and her and her brother. How about when her brother said, we love each other. Towards the back end. Yeah. Yeah. There was one. Was there any part of the doc where you were like, "Hey, that's not good"? Uh, I think there was too much Cooper Marsh. Okay. That that I, I thought that that <clears throat> I thought he should have had a role similar to the Friends, but like, what do I know? I okay. I, I don't think he well, added very much that was necessary. I think he was he was equal with the Friends in how many like speaking points he had. Oh, but he really okay. could have been he out by well. a lot more. Like he stretched he, it. Yeah, they he could have just said like, yeah, I started working with her. She's amazing. This is how I got to know her. Blah blah blah, and that would have been it. Like I, didn't, I didn't need to know anything else. Yeah, for me, much too much Cooper. The only part of the movie that I was like, ah, oh, that wasn't needed is when um, we got the cliche line, oh, uh, and it was <laughs> like, hey, she's in a, 
she's her own person. When people said that women women shouldn't be loud or muscly or outspoken, she didn't care. And I'm like, I asked my wife about that. I was like, Have you ever been told that that, mm-hmm. to, to, that that's not a societal norm for women? Yeah. No, I've never been told any of that. Yeah, that's like 1950s shit. Yeah. But other than that, man, the, the movie went off. The movie went off without a hitch. I was 11 minutes into it. I stopped and I was like, man, I'm going to be bummed when this is over. I watched it again till the 50 minute mark. You said uh, that about the Brian Friend video, though, too, to be fair. That is true. You're going to be bummed when it was over. Thanks for letting that out of the bag. I think you said it on the air. Hey, has <laughs> thank you. It's not like I, I didn't let it out of the bag. You did. Hey, oh, thank you. Um, hey, um, what um, has, has anyone get, said anything bad about the Daniel Brandon movie? I mean, with the exception being what I just said about Cooper Marsh, I don't think so. Yeah. Are you glad you watched it? Well, I don't even it? think that's bad. I mean, it's just No, I don't think that's bad out. either. Um would, are you are you bummed you watch? Are you glad you watched it? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's 100% worth watching. You watch it again? Hey, did you see the thing that I put up earlier today where I stole a bunch of your content and just I clipped it together? Dude, I fucking I forget how amazing I am. <laughs> I am fucking amazing. So I that was like that. six or seven hours of podcast. I just ripped it down to fifteen minutes. Yeah, that was really cool. I forgot how I forgot how amazing she was too. So I watched. I text the, her right after. I text her uh, right after I watched this. It was the twentieth time I've texted her without a response. <laughs> <laughs> did you text her? Did you text her today? I texted her today. I tried to get her on the show. Did you send her a link? Say that again. Send her a link. No, she's not responding to me anymore. I got to be, I, I don't want to like, I don't want to piss her off, but. Um, Sounds like she's already pissed. No, if she, I, here's the thing. I don't think she's pissed. If she's pissed, she would have blocked me. And um, fair, she's, fair. and she's, she's picked on me on a few posts around the internet. Um, someone said recently a Sevon in the dock and she said Sevon who, and the fact that she's even saying that means that right. she doesn't hate me, but like, Hey dickhead, like, here's the thing. In that documentary, she talks about, um, I don't even think she's mad at me. I think she's just trying to prove a point. I think she has values and her values are to be loyal to her people. And um, at Wadapalooza, we were, during that time, we were fucking with Rad or I was fucking with Rad in terms of playing the victim. And she's like, fuck you. They're my sponsor. That guy, I mean, obviously these people really believe in her and they're close to her. I wouldn't be surprised if she has a, owns a piece of the company, right? I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Um, yeah, that would make a little sense, sure. Yeah. And so I have to guess that she's like, hey, fuck you. I, I'm not like, I ain't fucking with you. Uh, Road, uh, Roadhouse wasn't close to the original, but was okay. Well, so that's had- one of the things I hear, dude. Just cause I haven't seen the original, and uh, they probably made it way better. You got to watch the original. The Doctor is... I, I don't think I want to. Doctor. I think I want to like the uh, the new one much more and just sit on that. Okay. If I knew Daniel... Watch the original. Watch the original. Shut up. <laughs> you haven't seen it? Is that what you're saying? No, it's made before I was born, so I don't watch it. Oh, wow. just like the other Star Wars movies. The new uh, ones are way better. Wow. If, if, um, if I if I was if I if I knew Danielle's mom, uh, like if I went to high school with her, I'd have been obsessed with her. Did you see the pictures of her bodybuilding, dude? Yeah, I would have been like, I, like, <laughs> like. I'd have been, I was I, in the whole, I like Daniel's mom, the whole movie. I was like, all right, well, too they bad. showed a couple pictures of her dad and I go, oh, well, obviously that's why she's jacked. And then they showed her mom and I'm yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah. Her dad I, was a stud. I love her mom. Yeah. Her dad was a stud. He looked great. So did her mom. Her mom was fantastic. Dude, if, if her mom wasn't in it, the movie goes, for, I think it was like, uh, so it's like a seven. Without her mom, there's nothing. And without her mom, it's like a four. Yeah, it's a, oh, you thought the movie's a seven. You give the movie a seven. Seven's good though. Oh, okay. But no Roadhouse, but it's still it's still good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where are we at in the poll? Where are we at in the poll? I, I know people don't agree with me on that. It's a runaway, I think. But For I uh, I thought the mom was amazing contrast and a uh, tremendous insight. Right, her mom the the whole the her mom's athletic background. I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't seen it. But uh, her mom wasn't your run-of-the-mill athlete. Her mom was uh, something special. I, I just want people to be, like, looking at the dad and be like, there's the mom. There she is. She looks great. 
And how about the tattoo on the mom's neck now, the butterfly tattoo? Yeah, that thing's nuts. Yeah. I love that too. Yeah, the her like a bitch to get. Her uh she would have been so fun to party with. Uh, I'll watch Roadhouse is Roadhouse 69 times before I watch the doc. No shit. Dang. I'm telling you, the documentary is so awesome. If you if you have if you have kids, um, you should watch the movie. Like you like and, and I think if you have kids and you watch the movie and you don't um and it doesn't hit you pretty hard, maybe you should have your shit checked. Maybe you're a psychopath. Hey, I, I always try to ask why I don't like things. If I, if mm -hmm. like, so it is a seven in my head, and I'm like, why wasn't it a ten? And mm -hmm. I think that I've had a bias towards CrossFit content, and I think I would have liked to have seen more of that storyline, right? So, so if I, if I had to look at it, it's probably twenty percent CrossFit and four fifths not CrossFit. And I, and I personally would have liked it more if it was one third, two third. Oh, and I thought it was teetering just on almost too much CrossFit. Okay, so that's good. Good for you. You think that this will transcend the CrossFit space? This movie's like that. Why wouldn't they go to i? I don't. Why wouldn't they go to iTunes with this first? It looks like it could have been done that way, right? Like it was produced to the point. Or Netflix, dude. It's so fucking good. Can you play seven seconds in the beginning of that shit where she's doing the the, the Transformers bit? Yeah. It's 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 ridiculous. It's only a seven because it's not Dumb and Dumber, and that is a good movie. Asymmetric years. Was that made before you were born? I think it was made the year I was born. I think you may have to fast forward it a little bit. I gotta check. Oh yeah, this part. Yeah, play this part. Like, hey, did they direct her there to like take those deep breaths and all that? Damn, and her hair's awesome. I love her makeup there too. I'm pretty sure that's the same makeup that she's wearing in the actual interviews too. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, Caleb. All right. Well, fuck. Maybe maybe it was just the lighting in the other one then. Probably. Vindicate was three years after. After you were I, I like the lighting. Um uh playing to the masses, no paywalls, the people's champion. No, you go to iTunes for six months. And that's promotion, and then you go to YouTube. I thought about that. Why wasn't it on iTunes at first, right? Or Netflix to get international attention. That I mean, ideally, that's what you do. You go to Netflix, and you get international attention. That's got the most international reach. And then and then you hope what you basically tell well, people. You tell all your fans, hey, watch the shit out of this, and then it pops up in the number one's documentaries, and then you get crazy international attention. Very good dog training. Uh, just watched it and had no idea. Danielle and I had the same childhood. I ended up thriving in sports and now pour it all into my family and the dog business. Send me a link and I'll hop on here. Uh, okay. No. How do we do that? No. What the fuck is wrong with you, Hiller? I, that just seems like an interesting individual. No. Come on, Thank dude. You. Thank you. No. Uh, John, I think you win. It's been said uh, well over 10 times. I don't oh, see Roadhouse. Something. They're probably playing the Roadhouse game. I just oh. said it a few more times. I don't know. Oh. That's a guess. I don't know the word. Uh, Sevon is in love. Uh, Daniel Ener Brandon Energy got me in the dad feels. Yeah. Uh, just bang her already. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's got five thousand one hundred views right now. And that's that's amazing, right? That's great, right? Yeah, it's good. I can't wait to see where it ends up. Oh, Patrick Clark, the beginning is her unloading her baggage. Oh, sees the symbolism oh, there. Symbolism. Yeah. yeah. All right. I like cool. it. All right. Yeah. I agree with Will here, too. The archive footage was amazing. And it's also cool how they kind of attributed all of it at the end, right? Do you notice that? No. So they got some from uh, Rich Froning mm -hmm. LLC. Rich oh, Froning yeah. Campus. From there, I went immediately to helping my kids with their RC cars. Hey, I liked all the pole vaulting footage. I liked the pictures of her when she was little. Um, you, you know what's kind of crazy, too, is I watched that, and then I watched the video you made, and the two kind of got blurred together. I thought that, right? 
I'm now I'm trying to remember what I saw, what was said in the in, now I'm like oh shit was that said in the interviews I did with her or in the uh, in the movie about three quarters of the way into the stuff I ripped from your podcast there was a portion where she was talking about her not trusting anybody and in the documentary about one third into it she talks about how much she trusts Cooper with everything mm. which I thought was just like interesting I I, I don't know it was a good appetizer like I said. He's only one fuck up away from hitting. He's only one fuck up away from not getting his text responded to. Also, from Danielle. Yeah. yeah. So, or from you. Dude, you you think, think everybody's on a hair trigger with her? Listen, I'm the biggest fan ever. I fucked up once. I'm out. How'd you mess up? Oh, you're talking about Brad. Hey, I'm happy that they didn't do any product promotion. It was just a straight up Daniel Brandon piece. It was cool. I think um, I only saw the shoes like once. How much did like that cost to make? At least a hundred thousand. I'd say a hundred thousand at least. I mean, I'm guessing they paid the editor fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars just him. I mean, if someone told me that cost three hundred thousand, I wouldn't be like, no way. <laughs> really? Nope. I mean, okay. someone spent a lot of time putting that shit together. Wow. Yeah. Well, so you know what happened when I made the one, the Haley Adams one, is I ended up watching it through probably 15 times. So that by itself is 15 hours because it was an hour long. <laughs> and I could imagine that they do the same thing, right? They got to like keep on watching it through over and over again, have other people watch it. Do you think they interviewed Torres? I hope and, so. And he just didn't make the movie? Do you think they interviewed her aunt and uncle? I thought about that too. But, but by the end, I thought maybe they didn't because she said basically when she left, she never saw them again. Oh. Damn. I imagine they probably asked her if they could interview him. I wonder if they would even know where to find him. Probably in Twin or whatever, Tri-Cities. Oh, right. Uh, that would, that would have leveled it up a little bit. That probably would have brought it to an eight for me. How much did the behind the scenes cost? You can't compare it to the behind the scenes because of how we make that. Uh, just the, 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 no, no one, no one's working there on that movie for a rate. Like nobody, no one's getting paid what they deserve to get paid. But if you were to make that, that would cost you what? Yeah, easily a hundred thousand dollars. You were. I, if you were I, to, I totally believe that. Yeah, um, but but no one's getting paid rate. It's not. It's it's um. I mean, I mean, you, you got to fly all those people out to the games. You got, you know, I mean, all those interviews they did. I'm assuming they flew to those people and did those interviews, right? And then there's some people probably afterwards like, "Fuck, we got to go back and interview that person again." I thought Dave killed it. I thought Dave's part was great. What was he in? Do you think he was in ten minutes of the movie? That's the best I've ever seen him look. Yeah, how does he never age? I'll was he? Like would you say he was in the movie twenty times, thirty seconds a pop? Uh, mm, less ten. 10 times yeah, at 30 seven seconds, to 10 times, right? At yeah. 30 seconds a pop. But he was a like if, without Dave in it, it also brings it down half a point for me. Like six five instead of seven. Really? Like oh, if yeah. they would have had Justin Berg be the like game. If, if, there's, if her mom is in there, it's down four points. If Dave's not in there, it's down half a point. So they were awesome. I think Dave left credence to the to the story that Danielle told about calling him out in front of a bunch of people for stalking his IG. That would have been a good add to the movie, right? Yeah, for sure. Someone in here said, well, this is what CrossFit has to do more of. And then I wanted to connect that with the thought that it's a hundred to a $300,000 production. And that's why they don't do more of it. Who, who, uh, the, the rad people are just no, anyone like, in like what you oh. said, they want to make one on, uh, I don't know, Chandler Smith. Like, how are you going to do that? Well, you how, could... who are you going to pay? How much are you going to pay him? You can't, you won't, you don't. <clears throat> Right, but you could make ones that are 20% as good as that for $10,000. Right. And you can make one a month. Yeah, you can just send it, someone it's called something that I could do. <laughs> well, basically what you 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 turned yours if you if you had like 20 more days to do yours, you could have filled yours with B-roll with Haley. You could have been like, "Haley, give me all these photos from when you were a kid." And you could have filled it with B-roll with another 20 days and like told a backstory and massaged it differently. But yours that movie we saw with Daniel Brandon, don't get it twisted. It's a propaganda film. They told us what to think and what we were going to see and how to process it. Like, what are we supposed to think? 
as opposed to you're supposed to think that um, this is a, a young lady who had a very uh, um, uh, went through a lot of adverse conditions at a young age and overcame them. And that journey started when her aunt put her in gymnastics and that sort of became the catalyst for this uh, and she, for this uh, hopping from sport to sport to sport that she excelled at and build upon and then uh, fortuitously met the good high school coach and got her into CrossFit and she ran with it. It was someone who knew that one door behind her was not a good one and that she better go to that door. You think CrossFit promotes it? That being said, be, promotes what? I mean, I, I just heard you say like it was a storyline that kind of led to CrossFit. And, but uh, also they're telling us that meaning like we, those of us who know her have a lot of other questions. If you, it, we, we, Haley Adams, when you weren't like so much telling us the story, Haley was telling us the story. You let Haley tell the story. You let her, you know uh, what I mean? We, uh, do, do you know what I mean? It, it was more, we got to see more, um, uh, we got to see verite moments, truthful moments, her in the car, shit like that, dancing, singing, shit like that. This was a, well, this was a, um, like a, so a civil, like a civil war documentary on George Washington. Oh Lord. Yeah. I hated those movies. Oh, anyone, anytime anything on the history channel gets brought up, I tune out right away. Um, you know, what, those people who just love watching the history channel and they can tell you, I, I think Caleb, Caleb is one of them. I can just tell Here's <laughs> one <of> them. <laughs> he likes it. Oh, he loves it. I love his, what is it? The, the, the something empire, the Roman empire. Yeah, do you think about one of those guys? Yeah, God, think about it every day. Jesus, R.I.P. the Roman Empire. Uh, Bernie Gannon, what isn't propaganda? It's just a slight. It's a sliding scale, right? Like, how far over do you want to move it to propaganda? To how far over do you want to move it to, um, uh, verite? To to you know, it's just a sliding scale. Verite. Uh, Greg C. Very cool. Uh, cool doc. Very artsy. I'd rather watch Haley Adams doc. Probably done with one one hundredth the budget. Probably cost me three grand to make it, and that was all travel and time. And stay. I don't know. I, I don't think you can compare the two. <laughs> Andrew, who are you doing the next forty eight hours with? Ocean State CrossFit. Where's that? Rhode Island. Why them? Uh, I like Ethan Helbig. You know who that guy is? He's he's on that team. He's made the oh, games man. as an individual. Uh, Christine Best or uh, Middleton, and uh, the dude who smashed his face in is on that team. Remember last year on the handstand walking ramp? Yeah. Like oh oh oh, oh yes. Yeah, there you go. Wow. There Which one go. is he? Is he the big dude? He's the big dude, strong as an ox. Ethan's the dude on the far right. He's always at the victory grips tent. Uh, Scott Wade, if the subject has a say in final cut, it's propaganda. So I think they finish 18th in the open. Not like that really means much these days, but that's where they're at. Here, here's why that movie's better than Roadhouse. I'm not interested in Roadhouse 3. You know they're going to make another one too. Are they? They have they to. They were left open for it. Yep, right? they totally left open. Did uh, you see? Uh, I'm not going to ruin it. Never mind. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the last thirty minutes. Oh, minutes. Okay. Oh but, but 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 I am curious. I would like to see. Another, I could see another Danielle Branham movie in two years. Yeah. What's it gonna look like? I don't know. But you but, could probably go through what happened this year and then into dude, the previous year. Just think about her life. It's always every year and a half. There's a huge change in her life. She shifts. She moves from coach to coach. I mean, she went from Kotler to Brute to we don't know where in less than a three-year period. Isn't she still with Brute? It's just she. No, she has a Brute coach. Yeah. But when I asked right. Torres, he said she's her own brand. She's not the Brute brand. And it was it was it was weird in the documentary when um, they said she uh, went to go train with Dallin, as opposed to go train with Torres because at the time it was, she was not going to train with Dallin. I mean, he was there. Dallin was there and fee was there and Sprague was there. And obviously Dallin ended up being her train partner. But the time it was like, Oh, she's going with Torres. And we'd already heard rumors that there was a fling between them before. I she you remember that now. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. And so it was kind of, um, which I don't have a problem with. It's fucking their movie. Tell it the way it, they, they want. I don't have a problem with it. 
I liked the, it. The cut to Dallas was pretty hilarious because he just looked like a Labrador. He's just smiling, like waiting for the camera to start recording. It made him look pretty funny. I like hey, him. I wonder if uh, Kotler. I'd like to be there when Kotler and Danielle see each other for the first time after the release after today. You don't think that they've why why? I just think that it's gonna. I think that that movie probably is healing for their relationship. I think that they probably see each other and they hug. If if what we I saw think in that Kotler movie, is the man, I really like Kotler. Yeah, I think I've said that before. Like he seems like the greatest coach. And after I, what Colton had to say about Max El Hajj today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. I used to. I mean, I don't. I, and I used to. I still do like Max El Hajj. Oh but yeah, like, Max after, is after great. Hear what Colton said today, it's like wow, Collar is just in everything of his own at the moment. Max, uh, I like, I love Max. I like all those guys. Alexis, obviously, Travis. Yeah. Um, the blonde superhero, uh, Superman looking dude. They're all great. I used to um, Max used to be my top coach. I don't know. I think you do that. Yeah. W what's the guy he he does the show with? Brandon uh, Dorman. Brandon Dorman. He used to live around me. He yeah, that, around here. Hey, hey, that's a pretty big dude. I saw that dude at Legends. That's a that he's a pretty thick dude. Oh yeah. That's a I didn't he doesn't look like that on the show. He's yoked out of his mind. He's he's a super jacked. Crazy fit. And then and then Berman and then and then uh Berman Jake Berman leaned into it, right? He did. <laughs> I like that guy. He showed the bar. Hey, Wad Zombie dude, Dumb and Dumber was good too, all right. There's shit everywhere. Hey, here's another thing. Let me say another great thing about this doc. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> and let this be known. Let this be known about Taylor Self versus the world too. You can't make a doc like that about anyone. Huh? That same doc about the 20 other games athletes is dumb as fuck. You mean the like Daniel Brandon? Yeah. You know, anyone else that's bad? I mean, just like that movie's great because it was a great filmmaker great producer, great subject, great editor. But like you you take you take all you take that editor, director, producer and put them on someone else, I won't say any names, and the movie's garbage. Like that movie's exciting and fun and moving and a tearjerker and has its ups and downs because it's Danielle Brandon. <laughs> I'm not going to say any names and I'm like looking for a name. But yeah, they, they all they all are just like screaming and it's way yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> all right, someone in the comment section mention a name of somebody that would be even close to Danielle. Um uh because right, shit happened to Danielle and she was willing to talk about she's a she's an intersection of super hot, super um open and uh, super talented and super hard worker. It's like all the she checks all the supers. And then, and then, and then, with a super hard life, fucking ups and downs, and then hey, someone's like, "Hey, that what? How, how would you compare this to the Froning documentary? Are they similar at all? Comparative? Can can you compare the two? For me, the most powerful part of the Froning documentary was when he talked about the adoption of his kid. We're just, we just view these through different lenses. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the scene where he's like holding the gun and there's like explosions in the background. And yeah. We're talking about the old one, the old one. 2015 or so, yeah. Yeah, Army yeah. Documentary, yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy about that documentary? So that documentary was made for one-tenth the budget, I bet you, of this rad documentary. Come they on. We were making just one documentary. The Fittest was made that year and the Frony movie. And then all of a sudden, Heber and Mars were like, wait a minute, we have two documentaries here. And they just peeled the Frony one out of that one. Hey, uh, someone brought up a good point. Gazan has a similar background. Yeah, Gazan's uh, a documentary in Gazan might be absolutely wild too. Watching the Frony documentary, that's one-third CrossFit too. Or more. That's, that's probably why I like it more. Oh, okay. You do like that more than the Danielle Brandon one? Yeah. He, 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 let, let me say this too about... Um, uh, Gazan may have also may have went through some, overcome some pretty uh, some adversity, which we know she did. But the thing about Danielle also is is that there's carnage around her. Gazan's life looks like hey, she's planting flowers in the flower bed. Like we know, there's carnage in Danielle's life, and so that's part of the reason why we're looking in. 
Ooh, that thing got run over. Ooh, that dude got run over. Ooh, she got, ooh. Oh, yeah. There's carnage there. There's a a, a trail of bodies. Is that is that the line you used? That's <laughs> <laughs> just my line, dude. <laughs> yeah, and so we're curious. I've heard that line so much recently, and I'm just like, <laughs> Dexter, season eight. Juliana Rios, Danielle and her family was willing to be open and vulnerable about their past. No true bad guy, but allowed audiences to empathize with Danielle Brandon Energy's journey and ultimately root for her. She's the most popular female on the women's side of the field right now. It's like Tia, Laura, Danielle. It's interesting. It's it's, it's hard to uh, quantify. Um, hey, this is a good point. This would Yeah, be Ryan great. Fisher's documentary would be wild too. Yeah, that'd be great. Cool, really wild. Who a David Hibbins Steel documentary. <laughs> when I was 50, that's when my ankles went to shit. When Man. I was 55, that's when my neck went to shit. You know what would be crazy about a hip and steel documentary though would be is like the 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 climax would be his battle with Hiller at the games. <laughs> Don't touch my camera. <laughs> Overcome. Would make it a terrible, terrible documentary, but funny. I uh, see. Look at Patrick Clark says Danny Spiegel's pretty popular. I don't know. I think I, right. Maybe I'm just not in that hemisphere. But when I think of popular, I I definitely like if you filled the room up with all of Danielle's fans and all of like someone else's fans and said cheer. I think the Danielle Brandon fans are like loud as shit. All the dudes are jerking off in the Spiegel room. No <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're too preoccupied to be cheering. Everybody's got their flashlight uh, out on the Danny Spiegel side. Hey, I'm just saying. Man's got a point. A Dave Castro documentary. That's that, that is something I thought though. Like how many how many of these could be made? Because there are 40 dudes and 40 chicks every year. And if they, and if you made 80 of these every year, it, it'd be just too much. I feel like most of these athletes are so boring. Uh, Rich Hawes, use Sevon's trusted method. Who has more followers? God, I hope that's sarcasm. I hope that's sarcasm. So, Caleb, you said they're boring, and it's like <clears throat> Sevon's done how many interviews with all these people, and how many times have you heard the story that is they spend every waking hour in a gym? And if that's all you've done for however many years, how much is it that you can really talk about? Right. Which is why this one's so good. Because there's yeah. a lot to talk about. Exactly. Jonathan Ortega, whose fleshlight sells more, Danny's or uh, Danielle's? Is that the next poll? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I sure. Would fine. Say fine, 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 fine. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I love Dave using his next questions. Next question. Uh, any Any final words? Anything you want to say about it? I just want to see how many views it gets. Caleb? It was good. I don't, I don't think I wasted my time. I'll tell you that. Yeah. It wasn't one of those like, oh, God, I just wasted an hour 20 of my time. It was enjoyable to watch. I'm going to exactly say that same thing. I was so happy that I watched it. A part of me was like, oh, God, I, I was a little afraid that I wasn't going to like it. I was like, holy shit, if I don't like this, fucking, I'm, it's, it's going to be scorched earth. <laughs> the next yeah. show and i uh i absolutely loved it and 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 um you know i think it was you hiller you asked me hey did you think it was long i did think it was long but i never i never got fidgety and i and i enjoy i enjoyed it being long you okay. asked like what i would critique it on to yeah cooper a little too long but you were still okay with the length right no <laughs> Usually, if I'm bored with a with a documentary like that, like I'll pause it to see how much longer I have on it. Like, damn, I gotta watch this for another twenty minutes. I didn't do that a single time. Well, look at your content too. I mean, you're asking the fucking guy who makes twenty minutes of content, like just fully fucking engaging with every fucking nothing cut out of it, versus a guy who sits on here for four hours a day just jerking off on a podcast. And so that's we true. also. <laughs> We come from different genres. And, uh, is that like a? Major? I hope someone calls in to save me, and you're like, God, I hope no one calls me while I'm working on this. I mean, when I, when I say that, yeah, 50 minutes was too long, and I know exactly what you're talking about, Mason. Yes, agreed. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm reaching for those two things too, by the way, like the Cooper and the length. It's just, it's good. The whole thing yeah. is good. Yeah. Like when I say it's a seven, that's good. Yeah. All right. It's a uh, w- w- good. Would you, would you like to give it a number, uh, Caleb? Mm. You can't give it a 10. Anyone who gives anything a 10 doesn't it's have ten. anything defined as what the best is for them. It's a 10. It's I'll, not give, a, it a, I'll give it a 7.2. Dude, that means it's the best 7.2. Yeah. That's okay. That means it's the best documentary you've ever seen, dude. It's the best one I've seen recently. No, no. Of all time. What's the best documentary you've ever seen? Pulling John? No. <laughs> um, Our house. No, there was this documentary I saw about this dude. He was, um, I can't remember if it was Weather Underground or it was a documentary that came out like 30 years ago. It was about um, uh, Martin Luther King's right hand man, the guy who organized the Million Man March. It oh. was fucking wild. He basically organized the Million Man March with not a single cell phone. And the dude was gay. And the FBI told Martin Luther King, like, hey, if you keep working with this guy, we're going to out him as being gay. And like back then, for some reason, that would have been bad. It was a wild documentary. And the dude was so cool. I wish I could remember his fucking name. I saw that they made I saw that they made a remake movie of him recently. And I'm so bummed. I hope it's not woke. And this what's cool about this movie is you don't even know the guy's gay until you're three quarters through it. And then they kind of just slide it in there when the FBI talks about holding it against him. So it's not like some prominent part of his fucking identity. It was it was awesome. Did you see the Jordan documentary? No, but I heard it's awesome. But it's like 20 parts, right? Or some shit. How, how about the Schwarzenegger one? Or no, I didn't see that. I tried to watch that. Okay, so that wasn't good for you. One in six means you won't recommend it. Eight to ten means you will. Seven is basically I didn't like it, but I didn't hate it. It's a non-vote. If anyone gives anything a ten, you're a t- I can't trust. Okay. You. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. If I'm rotten, if I'm rotten tomatoes, I give it a three point two tomatoes out of five tomatoes. Oh God, I don't. I hate rotten tomatoes. That shit means nothing to me. <laughs> I always look at it, but it usually means nothing to me. I'm so confused. The greens and the reds. Uh, having a ranking CrossFit, have a ranking CrossFit doc show. Oh, Bain, Maynard Rustin. Yes. Wow. Look at you. Holy shit. Was this a documentary I've never seen? Yeah. It, I think it's Boehner, but close. Oh, yeah. Maynard no, Rustin. A, yeah. 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 What was the name of that doc? Good one, Patrick. God, Patrick, you always have the fucking best contributions. Uh, is that, does he have a Boehner? Does he have a documentary? Uh, Brother Outside. Yeah, that movie. Brother Fuck, Outside. that's... Oh, my God. Then there's this other one. There's this other movie. One other documentary, I'll tell you. You will never get this one, Patrick, if you do. It's, <laughs> it won the Academy Award, I think. And it's about these 30 boys they take from Baltimore, inner-city black boys, and they take them out to fucking Kenya. Out into the middle of fucking nowhere to a village where there's no like running water, no electricity, and nothing. And there's a little bit of the movie in, in the beginning, and then they none of them want to go to Kenya. They're all ghetto boys, and they go to fucking Kenya, and they're fucking after their the boys of Baraka. Holy shit! Damn, they're fucking all their shit changes. Like they don't talk. They're all their ebonics, the way they talk. Every they're there for six months, it just fucking vanishes. It's Why? not. And, oh, oh, and none of them want to go from Baltimore to Kenya. And then when they get to Kenya, none of them want to go back to Baltimore. They're like, fuck that. This is the place. It's a wild movie. It's hey, a wild. A I can't even believe it. What? There's one with a band. And it's like it's like an 80s band. And uh, th- there's this scene with the stereo. And it, and it goes up really like past 10. What is that? It's like it's a really oh, good song. Jesus. This one goes to 11. That's it. Yeah, what documentary is that? Uh, it's not a real documentary, but it's not. It's, it's a mockumentary. No. That's why Hillary <laughs> likes it. Yeah, it's, it's Spinal Tap. This is Spinal Tap. This amp goes to eleven. Well, what happens to eleven? <laughs> it's one more than ten. One more than ten. It's louder. <laughs> yeah, that's this is Spinal Tap. Such I'll watch. I'll watch the one. The Grizzly Man was memorable, but I I, I wouldn't say it's um. I don't know. I didn't. Li- I don't like that director so much. What's that? Bob Boz something. Boz Lair. What's his name? Anyway. All right. Congratulations to the Rad Team. Congratulations. Oh, watch the whole thing here live again. The Daniel Brandon one. Yeah. We get in trouble for that. Yeah. 
No, it just depends. They'll probably they'll probably get you in trouble, right? Um, congratulations to Benny. Oh, oh, let's pull up the editor's uh, Instagram account. It's at six thousand views now. Six point. Congratulations to um, uh, Cooper. Um, congratulations to Dan. Oh yeah, yeah, he fully looks like it. Uh, editor, look at him. Hey, dude, I'm an editor. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Yeah, you do not look like an editor. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You just don't look like an editor. I mean, look, that guy looks like he weighs a, a fucking buck ten soaking wet. That guy sits in a chair all day and drinks coffee. That guy works fucking like 18 hours a day and he's off the juice. Wow, Fantasia. Wow. Sinner Are these guy. all movies he's edited? Crazy. This is. Crazy. Let me see him click that picture where he's fucking with the camera. I like this dude. I don't know him, but I like him. Matthew uh, Wick Wickwer, delighted to share the behind the scenes photo of a short film Discord directed by. Oh, and he works with girls. Yeah, at least three that we know of now. Four. Let me see more. Let me go down. And he uses big cameras. Oh, he might be a shooter too. Jesus. Good dude. Horror movies. Look at this. Crazy. He works in all the genres. This is cool. I haven't seen any porn yet. Oh, let me see that one in the kitchen. Look at all this stuff, huh? Fancy. Wow. Looks cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you know some of that dude's hair got in the food. The slider he had set up there. Okay, let's see the one with the kid with the box on his head. Action. Dodgeball. Darcy. Ruby. Ellie. Isabel. Oh. Jessica, Katie. Oh, shit. And Vienna. Oh, that's me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hope they start throwing dodgeballs at her now. Okay, Cassie. Can she even catch a ball? Oh, he's out. I like this movie already. That's cool. Is it the whole thing? It's just on there? How long can you click on it? How much is there? It doesn't say. Could we could watch oh, we could watch this instead of the Danielle Brandon doc. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't need any more docs. No, no. Listen, it's not like that. You know what they should do is they should make a movie out of these people, like Conor McGregor and Roadhouse. Like he does something. Now put him in a movie role. So like like Roman could play the role that everyone thought he was, just like some Russian spy, right? I like and that. then and then and then Froning could play like the the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible sort of character. Maybe I don't know. I, I see it being great. And what would Danielle Brandon play? Uh, probably the, the the James Bond girl of the movie. Oh, yeah. well, what about March of the Penguins? Fuck, great movie. That's a good one. Yeah, that one is good. But but good, propaganda, good. but propaganda too. I mean, fully. oh, Taylor could be the uh, yeah, he could be the evil the evil guy. I mean, Taylor self. The 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 Penguins one is so fucking crafted. You have no idea what's real, but it was good. But you have no idea. And now they guard the egg. For the twelve mile journey. If the egg falls out from underneath the penguin for just one millisecond, the egg will vanquish from the planet and die. And then up comes that like ostrich creature out of the ocean to eat it. Yeah, it's just like fuck. You're crying because some guy's making up some bullshit to you. It's real. All right, fine. Then it is. I like Roadhouse because there was nudity. So you mean the original, right? No, the new one. You missed it. I knew you missed it. God, you're such a homo. Why aren't you into girls more? Where's the where's the nudity? She was up on a balcony. Well, how you how you looking at that? And she had big old big old. Alexis, are you still here in the comments? <laughs> you see the nudity? I did. I did. She's like she's like trying to guard them, and they're like bobbling around and shit, falling out. You're drawn to like magnets. Yeah, that was my favorite. Anyway, I did like Conor McGregor's butt cheeks. 
I saw that. But yeah, he, I like that too. That was cool. Punch. He looks great. Yeah, he does. I know. His, cool. face, his face is a little ballooned up. I thought um I thought Jake Gyllenhaal's chick was a pinner. What's that? Just too skinny. Like eat oh. a sandwich or some shit. Yeah, he looks good. Did you guys watch the men's health video on how he trained for that movie? Who, Jake? Yeah, yeah they always make Yeah, it. he looked Actually, amazing. Like, there's some shredded dude in the movie. There's always a men's health. This is how he trained. How and he everything train? he does is twisting. He twists. That's all he does is twist. That's why his ad looks so good. Hey, was that recommended to you through an impression? Because after you told me about it, I saw it in my YouTube. Roadhouse? The men's health training. Oh, oh. Um, I told you to watch that yesterday on the phone. Oh, and it popped up in my um Yeah, it didn't text you or anything. Um I didn't think Connor looked good. I don't think he looked bad, but I like I like I mean I just I kinda I kinda was saddened by him a little bit. You liked him better when he was a skinny dude. Yeah, or, yeah. That's, that's that's like your ideal type. Like you, yeah. you want to be a skinny dude. Yeah, I like Troy. I do too. Yeah. Do you like Brad Pitt Fight Club or do you prefer Brad yeah. Pitt Troy? Yeah, either. Either. Troy's a little thicker, isn't he? Troy's yeah. a Fight Club, he's like Matthew yeah. Brad Pitt. Hey, dude, I like Bruce Lee. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Bruce Lee is skinny. Have you watched one of his movies? Gone back and watched one recently? I watched one like a few months ago with the boys. Wow, he's skinny. His movies yeah, are skinny. He's, he's skinny. Oh my god. It's crazy how you think that after looking at all these CrossFit dudes for as long as you have, right? Oh my god, he's so skinny. He really looks skinny now. But in the movie, I mean, he did, he's even skinnier than that in the movies. I mean, when he turns sideways, you're like, whoa, dude. Yeah. He's yeah I like uh, Stallone in Rambo Three. That's that's like my that's my dude. You, you know, right? Stallone in Rambo Three. I like Dan. I like Daniel Brandon in in. 2024. In Daniel Brandon energy. Yeah. Her appearance in Daniel Brandon energy. I have a feeling Caleb's going to pull up a picture of Stallone in Rambo 3. Yep. Oh, Holy Bruce, Bruce hell, the dude. Cokehead? No. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Jesus. God Christ. bless. That man is huge. Yeah, he looks good, right? Yes. Love the mullet. The pecs are huge. Is that but really like, him? Like, if Baderos went on juice, this is what he'd look like. Isn't he already? <laughs> no, yeah. Baderos what do you mean? not anything. Hey, I'm going to put that video together, the top 10 most likely natural CrossFit Games athletes. Oh, you are? I told you I was going to do that like a year ago. Have you I, tweeted I, it? Mm, yeah, like a year ago. Top oh, 10 most? Right. He's done way more than TRT. Wait, wait. Um. 10 men and 10 women or just 10 all together? All together. But wow. I can throw Medeiros on that list. Of Oh, the, you're, you're like certain he's not. Yeah. Maybe that's why he doesn't like me very much. Because you don't think he's juicing? He's like, fuck, he thinks I'm a bitch. Maybe because he, he's taking I what I, I always tell people that. I'm like, if, you, if, you, if you're accused of being on something, it's a compliment. So he's, of course, taking it the way that you should. He's pissed. Sarah Connor. What about Sarah Connor? She's skinny. I think Rocky Forrest alone looks great too. He, he's got a little Jill and Hall in him where he's really shredded. And Rocky how about Connor. TDC? Is he on the juice on the sauce? No, but he looks good in the documentary. His, yeah. his, his arms are all vascular and shit. Sarah Connor's pretty skinny. Brawl is Sarah Connor. Yikes. All right. That's it. Thank you. Uh, so go see the movie. You don't want to talk about this dude who can't back squat at 550? No, I want to go to bed. 730. Right. No, I'm going to work out. I haven't worked out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's only 730 by you. You ready to do a four-hour podcast? <laughs> I was. I came in here. I go, Alexis, I'll be in there anywhere from 10 to 130 a.m. Just don't wait up. Uh, thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Hiller. Congratulations to the rad team. And all you people out there who love shoes that could fit on skinny feet. Caleb, you, Caleb, you endorse the rad? Absolutely. Hiller, do you wear rad? 
Bill Leahy wears wears red. Okay. On behalf of Bill Leahy and Caleb, bye bye.